Hey guys, on today's video, I'm going to show you how to do your spring maintenance on your Snapper rear engine rider. Now, depending on the year and the model of Snapper that you have, it's going to determine what kind of engine you have. This is a replacement engine. This is the 12 and a half horsepower Intec Briggs and Stratton. I replaced the 8 horsepower Tecumseh engine. You can watch my video on how to repower the snapper. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check the air filter. And on this model, I'm just going to remove these two screws, two bolts. And we've got a kind of a cartridge style automotive filter here and it still looks just fine and serviceable so depending on how yours looks you may want to replace it but this is going to go another season first remove the spark plug wire and boot this is a little hard to get to This is a very, very, very nice looking spark plug. However, uh, as you can see how it's the electrode or the uh, insulator is nice and tan, that's fine. The electrode is starting to get a little bit rounded. So I'm gonna note the plug and we'll replace this with a new one. All right, so the plug takes a 30 thousandths gap on this one. You need to check with the your engine manufacturer to determine what your plug will take. Okay, and just snug, that's all it needs. Then we'll put the spark plug back on. This little shield I made was just to keep the plug off of the hot parts of the engine. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna turn the mower around and let you see the fuel side. All right, almost all mowers are gonna have a filter. This has a tank filter, which is right there. And it also has a filter on the engine, which is a see-through. You can see if there's any sediment. Both of these filters are fine. So if yours is in need of repla uh, replacement, then go ahead and do that on your spring maintenance. Now, one thing that I do want to address, obviously you can see this has a recoil start. However, when we go to start the mower, turn the key on. Okay, there's nothing. This battery is dead as a doornail. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the battery out. There's a clamp that holds the battery in. I'm gonna take the connectors loose and go and get a brand new battery. If you've got a rear engine rider, it may or may not have a battery depending on if it had electric start. It probably still will have the battery tray here. Okay, so I want to show you how bad this battery is. It should be 12 volts. It's only got 2.8 or so, 2.81 volts. It will not hold a charge. It is done. So I am going to go online real quick and find out where I can purchase one of these. This is a basic lawn tractor battery. It's a U1R to 240 watt and 240 cold cranking amps. So I'm gonna do that and then we will find out what we're gonna do with the battery. All right, the next step is to change the oil and our tune up here. And I've already got the mower elevated slightly with my floor jack. I've run the engine and heated it up. You always wanna make sure to do this with the oil as hot as possible. It will help it flow better. If 
Now this particular engine uses 40 ounces of oil and I will be using the Amsoil four stroke 30 weight oil. Which is the same exact stuff that's in here. This is one whole season and it, and it still looks like it's just come out of the bottle. All right, while the mower is up in the air, I'm gonna go ahead and take this time to grease the front wheel bearings. Now I went ahead and wiped the ends off with a rag. Do the same thing on this side. All right, so I went ahead and I've got a spare blade. I went ahead and sharpened it and made sure that it was balanced. And we're gonna be removing this blade off of the mower. And on this mower, it's pretty easy. You just have to stand it up on its end. It's designed to be stood up on the back end comes out like just like that okay and while you've got the mower up, if you've got the snapper, of course, you wanna check the fluid level in the transmission right here. Check your driven disc. This one's getting a little worn, but it's probably good for another season. And if you want to, you can do some a little bit of lubrication on the uh, components that actually move the uh, disc side to side. But when all that's done, also inspect your linkage. This linkage up here can get loose like mine is. It's got, it needs a bushing kit, but uh, I haven't done it. That'll be another video. But uh, anyway, after you get this done, just bring the mower back down carefully. Okay, and next, what you really don't want to forget is that we don't have any oil in the engine and we will take care of that next. All right, so again, as I did with the pressure washer, we're gonna be using the Amsoil small engine oil or four stroke oil. I'm gonna put 40 ounces. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and test this battery that I purchased. And the voltage is about 12.84, which is very, very good. Okay, got everything installed. Let's see if the battery is gonna turn this over. So what I did was uh, when the mower was running, I used the 
Craftsman multimeter to check the charge and it is charging about 13.4 volts when it's running. So that is good. So to recap, we did the engine oil, we checked the air filter, filter, we checked the fuel filters, we replaced the spark plug, we greased some of the lubrication points. Now there are other lubrication points if you want to really get in depth on these mowers, um, but I just wanted to go over the basics. I, re I sharpened and replaced the blade and replace the battery so we're good to go for another season this has been an awesome repower that i did again if you want to find out how i got that engine the 12 horsepower on the snapper in place of the old eight horsepower that was on there you can go back and look at that video and guys if you want to see more mower videos i don't know if there's any interest in this or not but uh, you can uh, just leave a comment if you want to see how to replace other parts like the belts and the driven disc, etc., etc., I am planning on rebuilding the front end on the mower with new bushings and stuff. And if that's something that would interest you guys, then just let me know. And I will talk to you guys on the next video.